All right, g'day guys, Matt Preston, Bill Prado. Welcome back to another video. Now this is uh, pretty much addressing all the comments from last video. I'm very tight for time lately, so this is the video I can get out for this week. Okay, so the bars are coming essentially next week, okay? Now let's address the first thing. So. A lot of people are saying, you know, where'd you get them from? So, and why is it so cheap? So, instead of answering 100 comments, I'll just start making a quick video. Okay, so a lot of you guys are wondering where I've gotten the front and rear bar from, why it's so cheap. Now, I'll just cover it in this video. So, pretty much, um, I've got a mate who works, uh, you know, at a big warehouse sort of situation where they import stuff from China. Um, and essentially, I was able to get the front and rear bull bar in those shipping containers uh, sent over. And because it was sent over, with the gear they're sending over, um, they'll simply room in the container and they put it in there and then that comes over as well. So essentially it's for free because they they've already they're already paid for it for their own stuff. Now, um, what does this mean? It means, you know, the average person can't do this. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm on Alibaba. Now as you can see, look at the prices. So this one's straight away. This is the one we've gone with. So as you can see bottom left, there's minimum order five sets, okay? So obviously, you know, the average person can't just buy five of these. Well, like you could, but like, like you know, you need five Prado, right? So it's not a normal thing to do. Um, and then you get the adjust, you get 20 and then 50 plus. So the price drops the more you get. So this is great for a company to do that. Um, but obviously the average person can't do that. Okay, so the bar's here. So roughly, I think that price, we actually like a good deal. And we'll grab that for about 300 bucks for two, even though it says minimum of five. So that's what we got. And then they also do, um, now this bar, that's actually a different bar in that photo, so don't think that's what mine will look like. Um, but as you can see, that's what it's like there. And then this same company also do rear bars, um, which is where I got mine as well. But you can see that's what my rear bar looks like as well, that one there. So you get a rough idea of what the pricing's like and how it works. So you can't just ship these to your house. You need, they also need to get shipped to an actual like warehouse or like a commercial building. So that's another reason why lots of people don't buy these bars from China. So when you guys are saying, can you link the bars, essentially just go on Alibaba and type Prada 90 series front bull bar and you'll see the ones that we've gotten. But you kind of need connections through a warehouse or somewhere where you can ship them in and you also got to message them and try and get a good price. So a lot of things to consider there. That's why no one can really do it normally. Going through some of the other comments from the YouTube videos that you guys are saying, does it meet the ADR Australian standards. Now that's a great question, and I'll be honest, I'm not sure, but I'd like to say no, if anything, which I'm aware of going into this. Uh, I'm aware of the risk in sense of like a crash or something where the Prado could not get covered. So with this car, I've already got the lowest insurance. So in terms of like a crash or whatever, either way, I'm not gonna be covered. So that sort of didn't really affect me in that sense. Uh, and you could think I'm crazy uh, being on the lowest insurance, but that's why that doesn't really affect me that much. And obviously, because you know, these front cars don't have sensors or anything or airbags, they're too old. Um, there's not that much uh, that could go wrong because it's just a matter of undoing six bolts, redoing six bolts, essentially, to put the bar on. So that's why I've considered all those options. And you know, this is just meant to be a little of a farm basher, you know, off road. So wasn't too worried about the ADR standards. Okay, another great question is, where do you get the wheels? Surprise, the exact same story. So, you've got the phone here. Now, as you can see here, so this is the same website as before, Alibaba. Now here, we've got the wheels, we've got the sizes. Prices on the bottom left, so 112 uh, for four. Now I'll be getting five, so um, it worked out to about 800 bucks, okay? And that was with adding it up and shipping, and the shipping was like 280, 250, so it was quite a lot. Um, yet again, you pay for that big shipping. Um, I think it's just because it's literally coming from the other side of the world. Whereas obviously if you buy it from, you know, a dealership or like, you know, an actual brand, uh, it's a lot cheaper because it's just coming from around Australia. So that's the idea with this. As you can see, it's got the video, it's got the photos, it's got a black option, um, and it's got the details there. Now they're a fake beadlock, which is what I want to keep it sort of legal. And as you can see here, um, it takes around 30 to 50 days, okay, for it to ship. So it's not uh, the quickest thing, um, but what do you expect from the other side of the world? Now, this is where I got it from. Um, so if you want to get something similar, or you want to see me get mine and see if they're good or not, um, this is where I went, okay? So uh, pretty straightforward. Um, if you want to get some wheels, this is where you get them from. Okay, well, this is a really quick update of where everything's from. So I hope you get an idea what's going on. Um, 
you want to check out those websites yourself, just type Alibab and then literally type in what you want. It's that simple. Um, a lot of you probably know about it. Now, as you know, it's not the best idea way of buying things because it's not Australian made and it's not sporting local and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this is a budget build and also I'm not made of money, so I'm trying to sort of keep that on my mind as well. Um, so I'm very excited, you know, I'll get them and, you know, you can, if they don't work, you can see firsthand and you can be like, oh, now I've learned my lesson. If they work, they work, okay? So pretty excited. Hope that answers your questions. See you next time.